red, white, and blue. <laughs> and that when you look, as I do every day, day in and day out, in my role as executive director of an organization that advocates on behalf of energy and the energy industry, when you look every day at what the green policies are in America, you begin to see why the Middle Eastern civilization and the Asian civilization is on up to. And I believe that you can trace the decline of Western civilizations to the prevalence of green policy, not just in America, but in the West. Now think about it for a moment. When you think about why, are, why is the Middle East on up to, what do they have that the Western world needs? Can you answer me? What do they have that the, Middle East, the Western world needs? Oil. They have fuel. They have energy. They primarily have oil. They also have natural gas, which is not as easy to ship, and we have a, a fair amount of it, so we don't take as much of their natural gas. Now, in America, including Canada and Mexico, you take North America, in America, we have so much natural resource. And those of you here in Grand Junction, Colorado, should certainly know that. That we have so much natural resource, primarily I'm referring to oil, natural gas, coal, and uranium slash nuclear. We have so much available energy in this country that I believe we do not need to touch one drop of Middle Eastern oil if we can make that choice. If we had our leadership in this country, in this state, in my state of New Mexico, if our leadership had the political will to say, you know what, Middle East, we're done with you. We're not giving you any more of our money because you are taking our money and you are becoming great while we are declining. And if we had the political will to say that, we don't need any of their resources. We don't have an energy shortage in America. What we have is an energy, I mean, an access shortage in America. We are not allowed to extract that resource. Now, why are we not allowed to extract that resource? Let me give you a little bit of history here. On my website, there's a page that chronicles much more of the environmental history, but I want to give you a little bit more recent history. Back in the spring, summertime of 2007, so we're talking pretty recent history here, there was an internal memo that was leaked from a whistleblower that was called No Dog. Are any of you familiar with that? Maybe you know what I'm talking about? Hey, No Dog stands for No Dirty Oil and Gas. Now, when this memo was leaked out, the people in the environmental groups denied that this was from them and said that it was a plant from the energy industry. And this memo went on to, to outline what their, their plan was to block energy production, specifically in the West, no dirty oil and gas, no dog. They had this plan to block energy production in the West, and you know how they planned to do it? This is back in two, early 2007. Their plan to do this was to, through regulation, and legislation. The way we're going to carry protest signs and block access to a well, they were going to do it through legislation and regulation. Now, the groups, the environmental groups denied that this was really their thing. However, in 2006, those of you who know how to do this, you can, you can verify this. In 2006, a group, an environmental group, who they call on their own website a consortium of environmental groups, a group called Earthworks, Earthworks purchased the domain name No Dirty Oil and Gas. November 2006, they purchased No Dirty Oil and Gas, yet they deny that this No Dog memo was theirs. In February of 2007, Earthworks purchased the domain name No Dirty Energy. Now, I, I can picture, in my own mind, I read a lot of novels, mostly romance novels, but I'm going to take my brain to a thriller novel. And I can picture them in a dark basement with a single light bulb, you know, the planning, this earthworks group, I can picture them planning and thinking, okay, we've got no dirty oil and gas dot com and dot org. We've got that bought. But then someone said, oh, but what about nuclear? We don't like that either. And so someone said, oh, we had better get no dirty energy. And so 
in February, they purchased the domain name NoDirtyEnergy.org. Now, in 2008, a year later, they released in a press release to the American Petroleum Institute a letter saying that we are now launching the No Dirty Energy campaign. That is based on our successful campaign against gold mining called No Dirty Gold. This is all on their website. I'm not making any of this up. They denied it for a year and then announced we are doing this. There is an active 